when it comes to rigging, we're looking at the ASME B30 standards. It, a certification through a accredited agency such as a CCL. They will not train somebody, but they will administer a nationally recognized written and practical exam. Well, that's part of our requirements for qualification. Underneath the general information for qualification we have, you have to be trained. Well, you have to be trained for CCO also. You have to take a written exam. You have to take a practical exam. Uh, qualification doesn't specify who does this. And then after these written and practical exams, regardless of if it's a certification exam or a qualification exam through another organization, then the employer has the very specific responsibility of designating qualified personnel to do the job. Typically, this designation is in writing. We have to have written proof that the person has passed a written practical exam. Uh, certification from an organization like the CCO will issue a document, their card, showing that the person has passed a written practical exam. Uh, organizations such as CICB will issue a card saying that this person has passed a written practical exam. The biggest difference between certification and qualification then becomes portability. The certification being a nationally recognized test belongs to the employee. It is general in nature and is fully transportable. The qualification being issued is from the employer is not transportable. It's specific to the actual job and tasks that are at hand. You can be certified without necessarily being qualified. And certification can be a part of your qualification process. Either way, you, the employer, have to decide what credentials you're going to accept for your people to do their job as a qualified person.